Hello guys, Noya Jr. here, welcome to my channel, so glad for having you guys here. Today, as requested, I want to bring a different video than usual, today video is for my mechanic build in Ragnarok Online Mobile. In this video, we will talk about the positive and negative side of my build, so please sit back, and enjoy my video. FYI, I'm not a free to play player, I spent some real money to archive this stat in this game. I also not claiming that I'm the best mechanic player in C server, a lot of people are above my pay grade, I hope after watching my build, you guys can get some insight to improve your personal build. Let's get started. This is my main stat windows, you can see that I don't have high ATK stat. My stat bases on strength, vitality, and dexterity for main attribute. For supporting a tribute, I allocated some of my stat to int for repair, and luck for some status resistance and additional ATK boost. In my previous build, due to the lack of ATK, I used status attack. I used stun attack from avalanche weapon, freeze attack from dreamweaver, fear attack from Egira star card, sleep attack from unicorn bag, and destroy equipment from meltdown skill. So, what I want you to focus in this stat is. For attack please pay attention to, penetration, damage percentage, ignore defense, demi human percentage. For defense please pay attention to, status resistance, especially stun, fear, and sleep. Elemental resistance, focus on fire, ice, wind, and poison. Neutral resistance, race resistance, size resistance. Please make those above your priority, boost them. My goal here is to balance between attack and defense, I want to be tanky and can deal damage in the same time. I also want to be a disruptor in enemy line of defense. FYI, status attack can bypass Kyrie, light shield, and safety wall, means that your status can still hit people even though the damage didn't follow through. Let's see the equipment that I have now. For offhand I use stone buckler and static shield. For weapon I use avalanche plus 15 with SB3 mora enchant. For armor I use comet armor with morale 4 mora enchant. For cape I use ancient cape with stun and HP enchant. For shoes I use rune boots with stun and HP enchant. Please ignore accessories for a while I am still looking for STR ring with SB3, SB4 mora enchant, it is quite hard to get. Let's see the right section. Headgear I use carousel headgear for sleep resistance and sleep status. Mask I use monoculars, it is good to boost your raw damage, for bag and mask still the same with the old build. For tail, I use King Arthur, for its damage to demihuman. Summary, important mora enchant. SB, melee damage for weapon and accessories to boost your damage. Morale, for armor and headgear to boost your damage. Status resistance like stun, fear, poison, sleep and HP percent also important. For cards, Mark card, Thara frog card, Argyope card, Ghostring card, Hydra card are the basic must have cards now. The most important here is the rune, you must have three main rune here. First, ballistic modification rune, to boost your each arm cannon damage and ignore neutral. Second, energy cannon rune to charge your arm cannon, for every 6 to 12 second, and can handle how many charge, from 1 to 6 charged. Third rune, this third rune is flexible, for me is rapid armor rune, to avoid those pesky hellplant and poison smoke from assassins. You can change the third rune to be suitable to your gameplay. For example, knuckle boost, precision maintenance or change elemental rune also a good idea. Try to get at least one yellow star for each rune. For Prey and Blessing Goddess. Red Blessing focus on. Penetration, Demihuman, Ignore Defense, Refine ATK, and ATK. Blue Blessing focus on. HP, Damage Reduction, Neutral Reduction, Percent Def, and Percent MDEF. Yellow Blessing focus on. Fire Damage and Fire Resist, Other is up to your choice. Last but not the least, please upgrade your adventure book, that's really important. Craft your headgear and home stuff, to gain a lot of stat boost from them, also, collect and deposit cards, all of them it's also helps a lot. MVP card is a luxury, so, do not forget to do your oracle every week. At this level, I am not gonna talk about Acer rune, cause in basic, you need to unlock all of the nodes in AESIR rune. For me in this level, I need around 1.5 millions contribution and around 3000 gold medals. 
So for all who haven't finished AESIR rune, please note that, above info, is your goal. So for the sake of testing I am going to Geffen PvP, and meet some good people there. I thank them for being my testing subject for my arm cannon and knuckle boost. My rune configurations. Charged arm cannon, ballistic configuration and rapid armor. You see in this video, my heals with my current build is around 100k damage is around 150 to 200k average. When charged to 5 shots, the damage around 1 million. After for a while, they tired being my test subject, so they started to fight back. See the effect of status attack that I mentioned before, it's gone through Kyrie, and will give you breathing room in the crucial moment. Status attack combined with hiding from smoky cart, will give you an edge when facing group of enemies. I moved to Pruntera map, and found some heavy enemies there. Got height guild for starting. Time for me to get serious. With this build, I can still manage to pick them off one by one, but it cause me some trouble in HP management. My repair is too low, so my option is to use berry or change my current rune. In this map, I found no mechanic or shira. I found only a small number of assassin, that's why I changed my armor to Argeo, and I changed the rapid armor rune to precision maintenance rune. I do this cause I am a cheap guy, don't want to use Igbury for this testing. Sorry guys, I am that cheap. Notice that, my repair goes up from 100k to around 280k. All runes got their own function. You just need to adjust them depending on the condition that you are facing. With this repair value, I didn't need to use berry. At the end of my testing, suddenly a group of Encore guilds comes and try to flatten the PvP room. No need to worry, Noya Jr. are ready to rumble. With this build, I still have a chance to survive, using smoky card combined with stealth field, and also repair room. My charged DPS, is strong enough to one-hitted their main DPS. I just need to pay attention to their Kyrie buff. Kyrie buff means bye-bye to charged cannon damage. Their SRS hit hards, but of course we have the counter, neutral barrier come to play. Noya Jr. ready to rumble.
Going full power, I got around 18k ATK damage, let's go get some. Please note that even though at the video looked that I'm winning, actually it was quite hard to maneuver every time I tried to attack them. I died several times to be frank. I think that's all that I need to say at this moment. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I also hope that this video can give you more clarity in mechanic build. Thank you for watching my movie, enjoy the rest of PvP video. Ciao! -o. Message to Erwin DJ -G -G when you are going to help me for Thanatos Legend?